What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today's video is sponsored by Coursera. They sponsored the other video earlier in the week, so shout out to Coursera for supporting the channel, keeping the lights on. Appreciate you guys. A little bit earlier I did learning how to learn, which talked about brain hacks and controlling your mind and how to stop procrastination and like the real reasons and all that. Super cool video. You should go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. If you don't know what Coursera is, basically they partner with a lot of the top universities and then they take their courses and they put them online for you to take. So you can do some of the courses for free. You can audit them. You can pay for them and get the certificate and there's more accountability. And you can even use some of these classes towards master's degree college credits. So I think it's pretty affordable too. Um, versus paying for like a college, you know, course hourly credits, like 300 bucks per credit hour, versus just buying like a Coursera, which is like, I think this course was like 79 bucks. I'll put the link for this course and the course I did earlier in the week in the description down below, and then I'll put the course also as a pinned comment. So the course that I'm doing now, today, that we're gonna talk about is Machine Learning by Stanford University, and this course has been um, awesome. Awesome in both ways that it's been very, uh, challenging mathematically uh, I've had to brush up on some things but also I've just I've just learned a lot this is 11 weeks long we're a little over a month into this and I have learned a lot if you don't know what machine learning is which you, you should by now it's pretty popular you, you use it whether or not you know you do let me give you a couple examples of machine learning um, in the course they talk about whenever you mark a message as spam you are teaching your email to get better at marking messages as spam or whenever you take a whenever you take a picture with your phone and then it uploads that and it like scans faces and you know that's machine learning too and now you can sort by like headshots and selfies and all that stuff like your phone's doing that all by itself that's machine learning um there's also you know larger aspects of machine learning like data mining for large data companies we got medical records so different like genomes and stuff like that for biology so what I always think about when I think about like AI machine learning is the Dota 2 match between a professional team of players and a USB stick with machine learning AI on it. And the machine learning AI won by a lot. So this video is going to just kind of like be the basics, the overview of what we're doing in the course because I'm not done with it yet. I can't like wrap it up. And even if I could, I'd have to dive into linear algebra and then I don't know how brushed up you guys are on that linear algebra. Um, I've had to rewatch videos multiple times. So I'm used to listening to books at about like 1.8x-ish speed. Um, and I've been watching these videos at like 2x and then he hits that linear algebra when he starts talking about the different functions we're using and stuff like that. Um, I have to like I have to go down to like 50% speed just because I have to remember all the symbols and the, the Greek letters that he's using and um, lots of thetas, lots of different parameters. Um, he explains it well, he explains it well. He talks about what formula you would use to test something out. For example, um, the very first one he talks about is called linear regression. Uh, the example they use in the course is when you put a housing square footage in and it can estimate how much that would cost in terms of hundreds of thousands of so 200 220 how much money does it cost and you give it you give it the x and it gives you a y and in the middle the hypothesis is the machine learning part and then he talks about how you can arrive to these algorithms and you use octave to do this in the course or you can use matlab and so he suggests using octave build your algorithm in octave and then you take that algorithm and then you convert it to whatever to, to whatever language that you want to use. I'll just keep this, I'll keep this video pretty basic so we don't go over everyone's heads here. Um, you got two types of learning, really. You got supervised learning and you got unsupervised learning. Unsupervised learning is when something just keeps going and going and going and going and tries to like make structure out of chaos. The example they use in the course is if you're at like a party and you hear two people's voices from two different spots in the room um, it separates out each voice and that's kind of like unsupervised learning right it, it, it brings order to the chaos then you have supervised learning and you have two different types of supervised learning and I could be wrong here because I'm not completely done maybe there's some sort of gotcha that I'm missing out I'm sure someone in the comments will correct me but you have regression and then you have classifications and regressions are when you want a continuous value uh, output that you're trying to measure and then you have classifications which is where you have a whole bunch of data and you know uh, you're testing the data if, if you get a zero 
then it's this. If you get a one, it's this. If you get a three, it's this. If you get a two, so you like the output is like classified, and the examples they use are different types of like um, diseases. So you give you give the algorithm like someone's genetic sequence, and it'll tell you if they have this one and this one and this one, like these two specific types of DNA or something, then it, you're more prone to have X, Y, and Z diseases, and those are classifications. So if you have the first DNA, or the second DNA, or the third, um, that's that's classification. And then regression, what I said before, is just continuous value on the output. You can think of like give something in, and you want to check what the price would be out, or you want to, would you would want it to learn what the price would be on the way out, and uh, keep in mind, I'm not done with this course yet, and if you guys are interested in me still making videos about these, I'm, I'm happy to do it. Um, I would just have to break down some of the math, and we'd have to talk about that. Like, this isn't my thing, right? I'm not teaching it. The guy on the course is teaching it, so if you really want to understand it, you should sign up for the course. So I'll give you the technical definition of machine learning. Um, a machine is said to learn when it can learn from experience E with respect to task T, with a measure of performance P. And if its performance on the task improves with the experience, then the machine is learning. So you know if like math is not like your strong suit, so to speak, it doesn't matter. This guy explains it really well. Um, I had to rewatch a couple things a few times, but like nothing is too complicated that I couldn't understand it. Um, I don't have like a statistics or probability background, but there's no like derivatives and integrals really in here. Um, at least not yet. But yeah, that's that's really, I mean, like, that's kind of like where I'm at with this course, uh, pretty much, is uh, I think this is definitely a skill that you guys need to know about. Machine learning is only going to become more and more prevalent as time goes on. You're either going to be the person automating the scripts, or you're going to be the person in the job that gets automated um, until they can automate the person automating the scripts. And then eventually some, someone's got to be at the top at some point, unless we just reach, like, you know, total... AI takeover, um, but until that happens, if you if you're worried about not wanting to do this because of your math skills or you didn't like math, don't don't worry about that. Like, it's all you, you don't need to know, you know, every type of math to be able to do machine learning. And a lot of these courses catch you back up to speed. You should probably know like basic algebra and understand that variables exist. And if you're a programmer already, you understand that variables exist. It's in depth. There's a lot of courses that are not like in depth. They're just kind of like, this is what machine learning is and this is why you should learn it. And then it like stops there. It doesn't like, it doesn't teach you anymore. It doesn't teach you how to come up with a, with an algorithm to sort something or learn from sorting that thing. Uh, it's just like, and these are common use cases, but like this guy, He's, he just throws you in the deep end, and he's like, "Here you go." And I say that in like an endearing way. He's like, "No, look, we're 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 gonna we're gonna make use cases of this." I think like the actual final project for this um, course is to make a photo OCR, and you have to submit that application. So like neural networks are like what I'm really excited to get into, and that is yeah. That's 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 later this week. And whenever I think of like neural networks, I think of like the Mario Mar.io teaching itself how to play the level of Mario until it like just knows every single jump. And you can go watch the video on YouTube. It's super awesome to watch a video game like just teach itself how to play the levels. Um, yeah, this course doesn't this this course doesn't take shortcuts, right? It's difficult, but it's good, and I'm enjoying it. I like a challenge. Math is just like, eh, I've rewatched the video a couple times. Oh, okay, finally, it clicks. Same thing with anything else in code, but really awesome course. I've thoroughly enjoyed it, and um, you guys can go audit the course if you want, and then if you want that accountability, you can buy it, and it's been, it's just been, it's been really good. So I recommend you guys check it out, and uh, appreciate you guys again for supporting the channel, Coursera, and I appreciate you subscribers for watching these videos, and uh, sorry if I sound like I'm just a total noob, um, it's because I am a total noob, and I'm sure I'll get corrected on almost everything I said in the comments, um, but I'm just reading from my notes that I have here. I thought I would be further along, but I'm not just gonna like rush myself through this course just for the sake of being done with it and then trying to discuss about every everything that I did. I wanna understand it because I actually wanna apply this stuff like, you know, by building that drone. So that's where I'm at. I appreciate all you guys, if you like this video, 
hit that like, hit that subscribe, and let me know if you want to see some clips of me, you know, trying to learn, maybe later down the road, with like the project that I start making here, and how I did that, and then maybe we could start making like little basic tutorials of how to do machine learning, um, but just imagine like me streaming how to make a machine learning algorithm, like the cost function uh, for like linear regression. Some guy joins in the, in the Twitch stream and they're like, they see all the symbols and they're like, math, nope, I'm out. And so um, it'd be a fun creative challenge to figure out how to make machine learning exciting for people. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. But Coursera, I appreciate you. This course is awesome. I'm gonna keep working through it. I'll probably do a live stream of myself working through this uh, later next month and um, it'll be good. So I'll see you guys in the next video.